learn to give up busyness. Matthew chapter 11, the scriptures, and Jesus says this, he said, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear and the burden I give you is light. It's a fantastic scripture. I mean, just think about it. It's the easiest thing for most of us to fill up our week with stuff to do. The business of life has a way of creeping up on us and overtaking us, causing us to run out of hours in the day for all of the things that we've planned to attempt to get done. The side effect of this busyness culture in today's lifestyle is that it has a way of making us tired on the inside. You know the type of tiredness I'm talking about when you, you get a good night's sleep, but even that won't refresh you. Jesus could see this in the eyes and the hearts of the people around him. So much so that he offered them, and he still offers us today, a great gift. His way, which is much easier than our way. See, rather than letting the pace of this society or our culture dictate the pace of living, Jesus invites us to join and to learn his ways and embrace his pace. He said he wouldn't that we wouldn't feel heavy like the frantic pace of a man-made world, rather that we could find rest and rhythm, that, we, that this rest and rhythm would be easy for us to carry. I, I encourage you to join me in learning and practicing these things that Jesus talked about. You might be saying, well, how today? Well, by engaging this week in this week's schedule, God's ways, kingdom ways throughout your week by simply allowing space for the Holy Spirit to speak and teach us. God bless you.